All right, we got some more updates on Genshin Impact officially from the MiHoYo forums. We're gonna just run right through it, not waste anybody's time. Everything's gonna be in the description if you guys wanna check it out by yourself. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, firstly, you guys already know, we got the Albedo banner. It's gonna have Bennett, Sucrose, Fischl, and Albedo, of course. The banner is going to last until January 12th, 2020. Just to run it down quickly, should you guys pull for this banner? The real question is, do you have a good utility and sub DPS slot? If you do, then you probably won't need this. If you don't, then this is a really good banner for you because High Constellation Bennett, High Constellation Sucrose, High Constellation Fischl, they're all great. I highly recommend it, especially Sucrose and Bennett. They just work so well with so many characters that honestly, I feel like it's a must have utility. So this is more like a support utility banner slash sub DPS. Next on the list, we have the weapon rate ups. We have the Summit Shaper and the Skyward Atlas. We have the Summit Shaper details right here with the Golden Majesty, same thing as the Zhongli Spear that we see already. It's going to be a sword variant instead. Pretty much increase your shield strength, increase your attack every time you hit. When you're under a shield, the attack increase is double. As for the Skyward Atlas, the details are on your screen now. As for the four stars, you're going to get the Favonius Sword, Great Sword, Lance, Sacrifice Fragments, and Stringless Bow. Next in line, we have the Stellar Reunion event. Returnee is going to get a prototype Rancord Sword. For this event, you have to be at least Adventuring 10 and the last login must be 14 days so if you're not a returning player i don't think this is for you but if you are you're pretty much going to get some primo gems fragile resin and a whole bunch of other rewards so all in all just some materials to help you boost to get you through the game help you get caught up next we have the update notice of when the event's going to be rolling out it is going to be rolling out on the 23rd of december at six o'clock gmt it's going to take about five hours so you guys should get to that pre-download as the next thing will be so when 1.2 does come out you can just jump straight into it now for that you will get that 300 primo gems compensation we all love the primo gems as well as this just talks about all the new stuff coming out and if you guys want to take a look at that again links in the description next up we have details on all of the new weapons and the artifacts set again it is confirmed that star tomb silver dragon spine spear do have the frost burial so again it's the same thing as we covered in the last video festering desire has the 16 percent elemental increase skill damage and crit rate by six percent again everything is the same in the previous video next thing we have the eligibility to get into dragon spine you must have adventure rank 20 above and complete prologue act number two the event duration for the gameplay is going to be till the fifth and for the shop duration it's going to be for the 12th so again it's going to be like the unreckoned style stars event where once the event is over the shop still will be there so it seems like the chalk prince and dragon will be split into four acts similar to how it was with the unreckoned style stars event and lastly we have the battle pass reset so you guys can get those sweet crit rate percent weapons for your main dps this was just a quick rundown on everything if you didn't want to read it and try to make this as fast as possible so you guys can get the information as quickly as you can without having to waste most of your time again if you do want some in-depth details go ahead and click the links in the description while you're at it hit the like subscribe and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick news video and i'll see you guys in the next video peace